Well, today is Friday and I drove an hour to Adamstown to visit Mad Hatter Antiques since it has been a while since we were there last. Um, it turns out Mad Hatter Antiques is closed today because of the weather. It is raining. It's been raining since yesterday, but I guess it's supposed to get cold and they were probably concerned about the roads. So, Heritage Antiques was closed, Adamstown Antiques was closed, and Pine Valley or Pine Hill Antiques. So I just decided, today's not my day, I'm going to the Goodwill. So we are here today at the Shillington Goodwill, where we were yesterday, and I'm hoping they've done some restocking. We're gonna go in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit, here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. and welcome to my channel. Just on here, it looks relatively new since yesterday. And I'm not really sure what the sticker there on the bottom says. I think it's more contemporary. And they've got it marked for $10, so I don't think that that's for us today. This was here yesterday, this was here yesterday. I think you're gonna see a lot of um, the same stuff on the shelf, but it looks like they're restocking, so I'm hopeful. There's a little kitty cat with whiskers. This is marked Anako Creations, 2001. It's $1.99. Just looking at this and thinking, oh, there's a cute kitty figurine. I would probably expect $12 to $18. So I think I'll pick that up for $1.99, and who knows, maybe that's a super valuable kitty maker. <laughs> Doubtful, but we're gonna grab it. Here's a really neat lamp. This was not here yesterday. Unfortunately, look at this base. This is this is like all split up and it's in pretty rough shape. Here's a pair of lamps. Um, they are ten dollars each. They have a sticker that says "Made in India." It's a shame they don't have any. Um, any shade or harps or shades or anything they're kind of kind of unique I like this fern this is actually etched and colors added to the glass I'm just trying to visualize what box these would fit in because they are kind of awkward and bulbous um, but $9.99 a piece I don't know I'm thinking they're probably worth like $45 each so maybe like a hundred um, 120 for the pair, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Look at this stuff down here. That's so neat. What is that even? It's Japan. I love that design. And there's three pieces. I mean, they look used, but they don't look terrible. Flame Chef Japan, $3.99 for this piece. And then this one is... I don't see a price on there. I can't tell if those are metal or ceramic. They're kind of throwing me a little bit. This one looks like it was pretty well used. Um, I'm not sure. You know what? I think those are really neat. And I'm going to pick those up. Obviously, they're going to have to ship in a larger box. Because um, we would probably do them as a set, but I'll let my listers and my shippers make that final decision, but I think I'm going to pick these up. Here is a music box. It looks like a young girl playing piano. I noticed it because it was sitting on the shelf like this, and I just really liked the lines of it. It plays music. Let's see if we can open it up. I guess it doesn't want to play because I just said that it... Oh, there we go. So it works, and it plays music. And um, I was looking to see what movement it was. And it says price products made in Taiwan, but it's in really good condition. So for $2.99, we'll grab that. I think I could probably get 20 to 25 for it. I was walking by and snatched this off the shelf. I was curious, so I started peeling this sticker on the bottom. And I don't think it's gonna focus for you, but it actually says Mackenzie Child. What are the chances of that? This is twice now I found Mackenzie Childs um, on these shelves. Unfortunately, neither time has it been the pottery. So, so, we're still working on that. 
Do you see what I see back here? It looks like we've got a nipper dog. Uh, he's a salt and pepper shaker. He's missing his Victrola though. That's a shame. What does that say? Oh, that's a Lennox one? What? I didn't know Lennox made a little nipper dog. How much are these? $1.99. The other two are made by Lennox as well. I did not realize that they made little critter salt and pepper shakers. You know what? We'll grab that. Maybe we'll come across the Victrola. Here is a whole bunch of Lennox. Swan Dishes, Ryder University. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. I mean, that's pretty decent for a whole pile of Lennox. Lennox is not something that I usually pick up because the resale value I find is kind of like all across the board. But I do like this little Swan. I think that's probably um, twenty to twenty-five. I've got the little dishes in there, so you know what? Um, I think we'll pick it up. And here on the very end of the row are these little uh, tea, tea set. I guess it's a tea set. Unfortunately, the teapot is missing its little lid, and this guy's missing his saucer. That's such a shame. It's Winnie the Pooh. All right, well, I'm not going to mess with it since we're missing pieces. After finding that little Mackenzie Childs piece, I've decided to look through some of the clear glass over here and see if I can find any matchy matches. Those look to be nice quality, but I don't see any etched signatures on the bottom of those. What is this bell? No markings on the bell. It's a pretty ashtray. I feel like we've looked at that ashtray before. Here's a Vera Bradley lunch bag for only $4.99. Julia is always losing her lunch box and leaving it at the shop or leaving it in my parents' car. Um, so I'm gonna grab that as an extra. So here we are in the silver and black section and I noticed this guy down here. Is he, I don't know, he kind of reminds me of Wilton where I don't see any markings on the bottom though. He's really heavy. I don't even see a price on him, actually. Uh, fortunately, at this Goodwill, they do price things that do not have prices, so hopefully they'll give me a price for that. And uh, that's a nice decorative piece. More contemporary, but, you know, it's pretty slim pickings here today, so picking up a few more contemporary items more than I normally do. They're made in China. I like the florals on them. This. Um, I just really like the glaze on that, but I'm not sure. It's a very high quality. Ooh, and I just almost jumped off the shelf. That was terrifying. Okay. <laughs> Unwinds. I was thinking that was uh, already done, but I don't know. Just got that simple writing on it. I think uh, I'll check the sticker on the bottom. Looks like there is a marking here. The original price was $32. Kind of crazy. I think it's just a bud vase. Put some flowers in that. And yeah, we'll grab it. Where did I put the sticker? Oh yeah, it's $1.99. Here's a little croc, and uh, I, the birds definitely caught my attention. It's RRP. Um, it says Roseville, Ohio on it. I know a lot of people get confused. The last time I picked up a Robinson Rand's bottom piece, everyone was like, that's Roseville. Um, it's not. It's actually two separate companies, um, both in Roseville, Ohio. So this is uh, Robinson Rand's bottom. I think that this is painted. That's the impression that I'm getting on it. So it's just a utilitarian crock. And then they've painted these birds on it. So it's $3.99. I think I'm going to leave it. There is, this is so adorable. Dagny spotted this yesterday, but unfortunately you can see the guy in the front is missing his head. But that is a really cool piece. Here we have a whole stack of restaurant or plates. A lot of them. 
$2.99 for the whole stack. You know, I've often thought of switching all of my plates and all of my bowls over to restaurant wear, the simple green stripe, because it's just so easy and I find it everywhere for really reasonable prices. But I don't know, for resale, it just really hasn't done that well for us in the past. What do we have here? That looks interesting. I forget what this pattern is. I think it's like fluted something or other. It's got some age to it. And um, surprisingly, I don't see any damage. So $3.99. I'll take that, even if I can't remember the name of the pattern. All right, so we are here in the orange. Ooh, that looks like a, that's weird. That's throwing me mixed vibes. Oh, it's a lid. That's what that is. That is a lid to something. Do we see what it is a lid to? I'm not seeing anything. I think it's a ginger jar lid um, and not a dish. That's why it has the lava glaze on it there. Oh, look, fresh cart. That's what I'm talking about. Just found a little Pyrex on the shelf. It's the orange bowl. It does have wear like it went through the dishwasher, but I was really impressed with the price on this because it's only $4.99. A lot of the Pyrex we've been finding recently, even if the color is almost completely worn off, is upwards of $10. So I think that's a really reasonable price for that, but I just, I'm not going to pick it up because of the scratching and the fading, but um, $4.99. This is a great yellow teapot and I just love the color of it. It's so vibrant and cheerful. It's only $4.99. I don't see any markings on it, but it appears to be in pretty decent condition. It's got some schmutz on it, which should clean off easily. I don't know though, after the last teapot we picked up, um, <laughs> it wasn't so easy, but yeah, I just really love that, that color. My mom always had um, a teapot sitting on the stove growing up, so I think it's important to have a good statement teapot, and yellow does the trick. What in the world is that? Ikea. I'm always picking up the Ikea stuff. I guess I'm just drawn to it. Um, we've got some brass candlesticks. Made in India. They're just kind of plain. This down here looks like a... I don't know. Is that a chamber pot? I think it is. <laughs> the lid is cracked, but I don't often find them with the lids. Maybe that's not an original lid. I don't know. Um, I just marked on the bottom, it's got some age to it. The last time I saw a chamber pot, a lot of you tried to convince me to pick it up um, because it could be used as a planter, and that's very true, but um, I don't think I'm going to mess with this guy. I do love the poppies, though. If it's not a chamber pot, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments that I messed up. The first time I came down this aisle, I noticed this. kind of reminds me of Tierra glass, I'm not sure that's what it is, but... And then I noticed these here. There's actually a whole stack of them. Those would have been great around the holidays. I might have picked those up because of the red. They're a pretty red color, but I think I'm going to pass for now. Looks like the restaurant where is growing. I kind of like the pebbled texture to the back of that glass. $1.99. I think it's an ashtray, but it could be repurposed for a trinket or something. Alright, well these are just fantastic. And that's a little bit of nostalgia. <laughs> they are, um, Powerpuff Girls. There's two of them in here. I think maybe Blossom is miss the one missing. They're my 2002 um, Cartoon Network. I'm not even sure they have any value, but if they don't, they'll go on my Christmas tree. I'm feeling like $1.99. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's giving me like motion sickness. That's so weird. 3D accessory tray. I don't even know if the three-dimensional-ness of it is showing up on camera, but it's weirded me out. Do you think it's broken? I haven't picked it up yet. I don't know. Yes, it is. That leaf right there. Oh, man. Look at it. So pretty. It has the Capitan Monte sticker there on the back. I'll tell you what, though. Those thorns are so sharp. <laughs> I can't even hardly pick it up. $1.99. Maybe it's not really chipped on the edge. It would be more white if it was chipped. That little one is chipped. On this side, you can't tell, though. Oh, it's so delicate. It makes me really nervous, but um, considering the damage is extremely minimal, I'll take it for $1.99. 
I think that's probably worth $12 to $15. I mean, it's not a super high value item, but um, it is really pretty. So I'm always picking up fun or interesting coffee mugs, and this one um, has all these fish with coffee cups. And it says, fish meat for coffee. <laughs> it's just so bizarre, $1.99. It is signed on the bottom under the sticker, but it's so scribbly, I don't think I'd be able to make it out, but that's just a really fun design. It's only $1.99, so we'll grab that. It's unique, it's fun. It doesn't hold very much coffee, but we'll, we'll grab that. I'm really loving this quilted bag with the butterflies on it and the florals. It's $2.99, it's a great tote. And, the, and it will help me carry stuff out to the cars and then I can resell it, so uh, that's perfect. Oh, those look like uh, John Winter's cottages, are they? Eagle Cambridge, John Hine Limited. Okay, so they're not Winter's cottages. I find that these are always chipped. It's like pretty much a given you're gonna find them chipped. Sweet little scene, but I don't know much about these ones. And this one's $4.99. What does it say? Yeah, Malcolm Cooper. Yeah, we're, we'll walk away from those. Here's a vintage mirror. Oh, it's dropping stuff out of it. What is that schmutz? I don't know. Look, it works though. It's a working mirror. Just trying to figure out. Yeah, it's really wobbly, so I think we'll leave that. There's an ice bucket. There's quite a bit of tarnish on it. So it's not, not coming home with us. There's a planter. Oh, maybe I picked that up the other day. It doesn't have an underplate. What is this? Oh, <laughs> Hankook. Hankook. Hmm. Korea. It's got some really bad discoloration on it. This thing. Oh, I forget what these are called. Something motto. I don't know. One time I passed them up, I was told that people collect those and I should take a closer look. Alright, well I had picked this up when nobody was looking to see if I could find the teapot that goes with it. But it didn't happen. So I'm going to set this back on the shelf. And I also picked this up while nobody was looking. And this is a frame, but it's signed there. Amy and Mark. I think it may be handmade. I need some glass or something in there though because that plastic is warped. Um, and then I got this for my nephew, because it was too cute. Monsters are good for the environment. <laughs> it's a fake leather jacket, but um, I thought it was too cute. It wouldn't fit Ashton, so I texted my sister and she said I could buy it for him. Okay, well our total spend here at the Goodwill today was $90, and I feel like we did pretty good. I was pleased with everything that we found. Um, I was actually a little surprised by everything we found, because I'm like, I was just here yesterday, I'm not gonna find anything. I wasn't being very optimistic, but it turned out I went a little bit outside my comfort zone today because there were slim pickings and I had to. Uh, but I think we got some winners, so. I'm gonna get out of here now, and um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.